Good evening, I'm Tracy Spicer with the latest from the 10 Newsroom. One of Australia's great environmentalists, Milo Dunphy, has died of liver cancer in Sydney at the age of 67. Middle East peace moves under threat as Israel's bombardment of Hezbollah guerrillas continues. And a memorial for Queensland's surf lifesaver Robert Gattenby, two weeks after he perished in wild seas. I'll have all the details in the late night news at 10.30. And in sports tonight, the great white shark tightens his grip on the US Masters. An upset in the rugby league, the battlers from western suburbs have beaten the $9 million eels. A lopsided afternoon in the AFL, North Melbourne thrashes the Hawks by 73. And a wonderful win for Darren Mercer in the Australian Ironman final. Also, Queensland meets New South Wales in the State of the Union Rugby. We'll have highlights from tonight's AFL, Rugby League and the NBL season opening. Sports Tonight. This 10 News Update is brought to you by Qantas, the spirit of Australia. Good evening, I'm Tracy Spicer with the latest from the 10 Newsroom. An ambitious day for the federal government with promises to protect jobs, reform the tax system and provide more places for TAFE students. Alarm at figures showing a dramatic jump in the number of school children smoking marijuana. And car owners around the country help Australia lay claim to a new world record. We'll have the details on those stories and more tonight in Ten's Late News at 5 past 11. And in sports tonight, right after the news, the innings that saved Mark Taylor's career and possibly Australia in the first test. The accolades pour in after Taylor's century, including congratulations from Prime Minister John Howard. Australian Super League clubs thrashed their English rivals in the World Club Challenge, the Raiders running in 70 points against Halifax. Also tonight, a wrap-up of the AFL, the Wallabies side named to take on the French, plus motorsport, tennis and a whole lot more. Sports tonight, after the news. This 7 News update is brought to you by Colonial, one of Australasia's most diverse financial services networks. Good evening. An Adelaide delicatessen owner has been robbed at gunpoint for the second time in a fortnight. These security camera pictures show a man with a sawn-off shotgun demanding money from the assistant at the Blair Athol Deli. Police believe the bandit is linked to three robberies in the area over the past two weeks. The state government has come under fire for its plan to spend $30 million on the national park system. Environment groups say the money could be too late to help run down parks. In football news, Crows pair Tyson Edwards and Nigel Smart are almost certain to recover for the match against North Melbourne next weekend. The Crows are sitting second on the ladder after the completion of round 11. And finally now to the weather, and it'll be cloudy but fine in Adelaide tomorrow with a top of 19 degrees. That comes after an overnight low of 9. That's all from the news desk for now. Good night. Nobody knows.